removing the items text beside the DV cart icon can be a bit tricky, but in this tutorial I will show you the easy way. You will find all the links and resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So we're going from this default look saying um, X items to just displaying the cart icon and the items number. I think that's a cleaner look. And uh, the first method is using a lightweight plugin that's called Say What. And uh, we are good to go with the free version. So I'll head over to my WordPress website and I'll go to the dashboard. And from here, I'll go to plugins and add new. And I'll search for say what. And uh, it's the first one here with the cute sheep on the image. So I'll click install now. You can see that it has four and a half stars and uh, over 30,000 active installations. It was updated two weeks ago, so I would say that this is a solid plugin to use. And now it's activated. So I can click settings or I can go to tools and text changes. And from here, it's a little bit techy, but I will guide you we should add a new text change and this is to remove the string that says items in the cart. So let's head back to the blog post and uh, here we have all the fields that you need to add. So the first is the original string and that's percentage, the one, the number one, a dollar sign and an S and then a space and items with uh, capital I. So just copy this text string. So we will copy and paste this into the original string. And let's go back and copy the text domain Divi with a capital D. And let's go back again. And the text context is WooCommerce items number. So I'll paste that in the text context field. And then we have the, have the replacement string that should replace this original string. And that is just the number here, percentage one dollar sign S. Sounds a little bit like a rapper name, I think. I'm a rapper. Oh, you're a rapper. Oh, okay. So I'll add that and I click the add button to save. So now we have one line here where we are replacing the string with the items, the word items in it, with the string that just contains the number of items. So we actually need to add another row here. So I click add new. And the reason for this is that the word items is used if you have zero items or if you have multiple items, two, three, four, five, etc. items. But if you have one item, it's another word. It's item without the S. So we have to uh, remove that one as well. So I'll head back to the blog post. And uh, we have here number six. It's the original string. It's the number and item without the S in the end. Otherwise, everything is the same. So we'll paste Divi. And we will paste WooCommerce items number. There you should actually have the S because that is the same context. And the string should be just the number. And let's click add. Okay, let's check this out in front end to see if it works. You might need to clear your website cache plugin if you are using that, or and maybe also your uh, web browser cache to see the changes. So I'll just click refresh. And now we can see the cart and the number, but the items text is gone. And let's do the same thing with a theme customizer menu using a secondary menu. We can see that it works fine both with the theme builder menus and theme customizer menus. 
We can also try to add a product to the cart just to see that it works with one item. So add to cart. And we can see that it's a number one here in the theme builder menu. And we can also try out the theme customizer menu just to see that it works here too. And it does. So this is a really easy method and this is also a really nice plugin. I could recommend the pro version here. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but um, if you like this and you want to support the developer, I think you should definitely go for the pro version. There you can just start typing a string and um, you will have an auto to complete to find the, the correct strings if you want to change other parts of text on your website. That's all for today. Subscribe, like or leave a comment if you like this video and see you next time for more tutorials coming your way. Thank you.